Hello everyone and welcome to Colonial Conquest, yay! Now, um, hmm. This is a new game, or fairly new game, that's just been released, or recently been released, on Steam. Why do I sound so unsure? Because I have not been following it. But, because I enjoy many, 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 um, strategy type games. I bought this, and I thought I'd have a go. I already had a go at it, and I have one, and it's fantastic. Well, to me it's fantastic. There's a few things I could fix that are a little buggy, but yeah. It's not like that's not manageable. Now, I why am I doing this? <laughs> is because I've been out in the YouTube business for a while, so. Without further ado, let's go into a new game. Now, you get three scenarios. 1880, Race for the Colonies. 19... 14, the Brinkle War, and Standard. Now these two are historical scenarios. That is a historical scenario in which, as the game begins, the six major countries control the additional regions actually controlled by those countries in 1880. All regions are up for grab. Their wealth, defense, and victory point values are determined semi-randomly and will vary in each game. And this one is just the situation in 1914 in Europe, if you know that. And standard, which is what we're going to be playing, is where there's just the six major countries, which are down here, which I'll list in a second, and it's just the home regions, and everything is up for grabs. Now, I will explain this as it goes along, but let's see. Now, difficulty, there's only two difficulty. There is standard, which is, well, standard, there's no advantages to give given to the AI, and this hard, which there is. Now, I was playing the Race for the Colonies as Great Britain before on 500 victory points, and what this means is the points you get for attacking and capturing regions, or successfully attacking. So, yes, if you fail, you lose victory points. If you succeed, you gain, and 500 is the minimum you need to win or 1,000, or 1,500, or infinite, which to my understanding is world domination, as it says there. Winner is the nation that conquers all of the world. We're going to be going 500, and these are the major players. There's Great Britain, the United States, Germany, Japan, France, or France, and Russia. Um, hmm. probably go with Britain, not Britain, Germany, because I've already played as Britain, I don't know, it'd, be, it'd probably be different, I'm just going to go with Germany anyway. Uh, randomized region information, I don't know what that means, I didn't play on it, but I think it means that region information is randomized, and what does that mean? Well, <clears throat> you're about to find out. Okay, now here's another thing. This is, well, if there was other players, it would be turn-based, to my knowledge. And these are basically what you can do during this turn. Now, with this phase, which is what the turns are called phases, you can do basically everything. You can spy, you can build forces, fortify, subversion, economic help, move forces, and information, which tell you information about the regions. Um... Now, this is something you need to note importantly. I will talk about that in a second. Is that this turn only comes around every four or so turns or phases. So, basically, spend as much of your capital, which is up there, and for some reason it's in pounds for everyone. To build up your military might to spy and all that because god is that useful and it took me a while to realize that because the next phase and the phase after that and the phase after that you can only attack and move your forces around which i'm about to get to with regions now we're playing as germany frederick wilhelm albert of prussia you have become kaiser wilhelm ii german emperor and king of prussia your chancellor otto von bismarck has unified the German states into a powerful German empire under Prussian leadership. 
but also led a short and decisive wars against Denmark, Austria, and above all, your French arch enemy. Arch enemy. While creating the first welfare state in the modern world, the German Empire is strong and powerful and ready to expand further its expansion. Okay. Will you establish it as a power large and strong enough to com What? Will you establish it as a power large and strong enough to compare to the United Kingdom Empire of your grandmother, Queen Victoria? Probably not. <coughs> but here's where we're going to start. Deutschland, which is great. And these are our men. These here means it's fortified. Now here, these little factory symbols you see, is where we can build forces. Yeah, it does tell you where you can build forces. Build up men. Many men. It probably don't want to build too many men. I'll start off with. As we're playing as Germany, we don't need that much. Now, when you build forces, when you build them, they become available instantly. Which is great. Now this, it's that, we get a super spy total knowledge for the Italian region, which tells us, this is the information screen, which you need to note that every territory, every territory that's available has a defense and economic. Has an economic value and a military value. Right now, Italy is quite pathetic. We'll probably attack that. Give us some money as well. Unknown prestige or victory points. I'm going to call it prestige. And what will happen is that these, as far as I know, is your spies' knowledge. Like, that's maxed out. So we know that's 90. We know that's zero fleets in the region. We know that they've got no defense. Now, defense is important because even if they had 90 plus one defense, we'd have to plus another unit on top of that. And there's ports in the region, which is good. So. During this turn, basically build up as much as you can, but you can only build up with these. I haven't attacked a major player before. We might attack France to get another factory, so I'm not too sure if that's how it works. But Germany starts off with two. England starts off with two. Or Great Britain. England starts off with two. France gets two. Russia, as far as I can tell, only gets one. And the United States gets three. And our favorite people, Japan. One. <laughs> Yep, Japan, they get two as well. And that's where you can train your units and your fleets will buy. And you also need to economic help, so you can basically tell them to be strong. But you can spy, which costs you 200,000 pounds, or more of your currency, to spy on a minor player, and one million to spy. Hmm, look good spy things to spy on major players. So what we're going to do... How much was there? 90. So we're going to attack Italy. Um, right, each fleet, or ship, I should say, carries one regiment, so... they have, what was it, 90? Say 100. We'll send 100 soldiers. That's the max we can send. Next turn, we will invade and hopefully take over Italy. We should also consider building more men here to attack Austria. You know what, let's just attack Austria now. I'm gonna risk it. We'll send in 160 men. Now they will attack next turn. That's our fleet, so a lovely group of people. Okay. Wow. We might attack Russia. But you should spy on as many provinces as you can. 66. That's good. Because we're going to have to attack a lot of places. And since Germany is mostly an infantry based one. Probably best to get a lot of the infantry ones out of our own. Uh, we can't build anymore. It doesn't matter. 
we'll go to the next phase. Yes. Oh yeah, that's your points up there. Starts at 20, that's max 20. Um, and you, that's basically what you can do with troops, move them around, sort of thing. Now there is a command thing where you can order them to retreat and stuff. I haven't figured that out yet. But Russia's attacking the Falklands. There was 80 there in Austria-Hungary. Thanks. Now we're in the next phase where we can only move soldiers around. Like that's attack and stuff like that. Now this is the war report, and as it says, the war report offers a few summary windows that display the movement orders without attacks. The battles you are you were involved in, either because you launched them or were attacked, they show details of your losses as well as your gain or loss of VP, which is victory points. Now I can't see because that's up there somewhere, but we won't have 500. In fact, we don't have 500. Well, 41, 35, that's not much. That's not and we should have no defensive, and that should be our movements. Excellent. Basically, right now we control Central Europe. Um, 108. How many, how many fleets did they have? 14. We might just send 50. Why 50 when they only have 50? To outnumber them, mostly. Yes. And 50 to attack their fleets. I also limit their number of men. We won't know any information on these countries because we did not spy on them. But these are Russians. 919. Which would have probably most likely more. Serbia 66. We're going to attack Serbia. We have 120 men. Now, as I said, we're German. We're playing as Germany. Our main focus would probably not be like what the United Kingdom would be if we were playing in the race to colonies thing. We would probably be mostly concentrating here. Though in my game, Germany did attack Libya. That's as far as they went. Oh, these parts as well. Uh, this shows you what the naval dominance power is. So right around here is the Great Britain. Then there's France and ours because we have a fleet here. And this is Russia. And the United States is over here. Ooh, they're fortified. Why aren't they fortifying there? Took over Hawaii. We took over Serbia. Look at that. We lost two ships. We lost 24 men there. Okay. What's this? Super Spy. Kenya. Okay. What's in Kenya? 50 men, no fleets. Probably attack them. Do we have a fleet there? 108. You know what, why not? We'll attack that, just because I'm talking about it. What's in in that many? <laughs> okay, um, move the fleet there. So we're going to attack Kenya, because they've only got 50. Could send all of them, but it's a risk. Risk I'm not willing to take. And, as I said, each ship carries one regiment. We have to be prepared. I would love to spy on England. Take off it.
look at that. We're doing great. We'll need more troops. But we're on a roll. So 80, 80. Good luck. That will probably be our last attack. We'll then build up soldiers and send them to the frontier. Probably fortify Italy. So then we can attack France before they become powerful. And we're the first one with a colony. Now, here we are. We get to build up our troops, spies, fortify, and everything. And we have a fair amount of money. We're the first one in Africa, which is grand. I think I'm going to do a spy with the French. 117, yeah. 144. It looks like we're going to have more than that. I'm not exactly too concerned about Russia at the moment. Uh, just do, do, do. I wish I could type in how many I want. Probably build 40. Well, we take that out. Um, how many is it? It's 117. We just... Every soldier. Most send in 140 or 141 into there. We should be able to take that, take France out. I don't know, I'm experimenting here, but that would give us the advantage up in the north, and I want to attack that simultaneously. 144. fleet there. Excellent. Then we'll send... Oh, we only have ten? Jeez. Come on, guys. Oh, just land. I don't know how to get out. No. Here we go. We'll send forty there. It's not a naval raid. Let's just build a fleet there. Then we can send fifty down to there to help take Greece. I'm done. Well, I think I'm done explaining this game. It's a great game, you should all get it. I love it. I can see many animals playing this game. They all go different ways, especially in this standard game. Where everything is perfect. then.
if we send men there, I was actually gonna send 40. Send 40. That should secure us to attack that. I'm just not too worried about that. So what are you? You are the United States. So you're France. Okay. And who else is? France. And France. Ooh, France, man. So I thought. Okay. America's the dark, not the light. So America's coming late into the game. Interesting. Um. I think we'd have enough men to attack it. But next time, when we have enough men, we probably won't. You know, it probably sends back horribly. Okay, that turns kind of boring. 74, we still don't have enough men there. But we do have enough to attack France. We shouldn't send all in, should we? Oh, I hope we get to build stuff soon. See if we can reinforce them. We'll just send 33 regiments in. We'll take that. Jacked. Our boys didn't even fire. Oh, 300 men. I only lost one VP because of that. Oh, that's so. That sucks. Go into Greece. Damn it. And while we're at it, let's move our fleet to there. Let's cause some havoc. Oh, we didn't lose all of them. Just the important ones. Oh, we have to build so much men now. God. So how many do they have? Fires two times on the first battle and fires two times in every round. Oh. Pretty good round we get to recover from. <laughs> by not taking France. Oh, thank God. What? What, 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 what? Oh, 83, 83. Okay. So, what, France has no fleet? Let me tell Yes. 200. And 65 men. I didn't freaking say so. 